Hello? What do you mean? The Doctor Who Season 14 box set, you've got some questions about it? Yeah, sure, sure, I'll answer them, I'll answer them. What? This isn't going to the press, is it? No? Alright, then I can actually tell you then, okay. So, what, the region coding? Okay, so the plan with the Doctor Who Season box set on Blu-ray is... We see that they're region coded... But they're actually not. They're actually region free. Why don't we just tell people they're region free? Because then they might want to import them from other territories and they won't sell out as quick. Hmm? Why don't we put the region coding on to stop them? Well, we couldn't be asked to put the region coding on. You know, it was, it was just too much of a hassle. Why do we still put them on the DVDs? That's because we just used the same region code that Billy made about 20 years ago. We could never be asked to do them for the Blu-rays. Nah, Billy had left by that point. Yeah. Yeah, he just gone. Wait, so why do we make them in such limited quantities for the UK and Australia and that limited edition packing? Hmm... Well, listen, listen, listen. Have you ever heard of the Disney Vault effect? No? Alright, well, it's a practice that Disney used all the way up until, well, technically they still kind of use it today. You see, if you make people think that something is going to be gone in a limited time, then it makes everyone to go after it and will sell more in a short space of time. And then in, you know, five to ten years' time, we say, hey, we've re-released this again. You know, this is your one and only opportunity to pick this up again, even though we said it would never be available again. What do you mean people won't fall for that? People fell for that act through the 80s, 90s, 2000s and 2010s with Disney. And it seems to be working fine with us for the Blu-ray box X. So of course it's working. So, wait, so why do we make the American versions not limited edition? Well, eh, physical media isn't selling as much over there as it is over here. And to be honest, you know, we get, we just make the sex basically a crapper version. I mean, we need to save money somewhere, so, you know, we just put them in a standard Blu-ray case. Besides, I hear most people from the UK who aren't able to get hold of it are just importing the American version anyway. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just how it is. Why don't we even bother putting a booklet in all the disc art? I don't know, speak to the American department, I don't know. It's slightly cheaper, maybe, even though the artwork's already done. Hmm. Yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense sometimes. But hey, you know, conf confusion is always the best strategy. Because if you confuse people for long enough, you can hide the massive, massive gaps and holes that we have. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, no doubt people are, you know, clawing themselves to try and get a season 14 Blu-ray at the minute. But hey, don't see an don't say that we're going to, you know, do a re-release like we did with Season 12. Say nothing. Say nothing. And then when we do announce this a year later, people will lose their minds and will sell all the reproductions. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we were going to do more of them, but obviously pandemic, we had limited resources and that we had to even cancel pre-orders but hey people just want it more now we might not even have to wait a year for people to clamber over them i mean have you seen the prices that they're going for on ebay i know it's insane why can we make the australian version cheaper but only slightly cheaper because mm, because we 
our screening division, we just love inconsistency, I guess. I don't know, it's not really, it's not really uh, my forte, my decision. Why is stuff like the Series 8 deleted scenes never being made available apart from the complete Peter Capaldi years Blu-ray in the US? Oh, that's just, again, to aggravate people in the UK and make them want that. So when we do eventually re-release that, maybe we'll do it in the Steelbook range. I mean, that's how we put the David Tennant in conversation in on the Steelbook, but we didn't bother putting it on any of the other stuff. We didn't even really even announce it. It was just quietly put on there. And then when people realised, that's when they start selling. You see? You just got to forte the market. So why did you call in the first place? Oh, oh, these leaked figures on eBay. Well, it, it's more of uh, characters and B&M's about and where just the licences, to be honest. What happened? Well, who's to say? Who's to say that they weren't gifted? Who's to say they possibly were taken? Who's to say someone didn't realise? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll not see anything. What do you mean if we don't see anything? That means that they'll be real. But if we just, just say they're not real, let's say they're not real. Yeah, of course that makes sense. Actually, you know, we'll not just come in at all. We'll just ignore their existence. Yeah, let Captain B and M sort this one out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, did you hear? Did you hear? Smashing ratings on iPlayer for Torchwood. Yeah, we put Torchwood on iPlayer. Why? Well, you know, because we did. Britbox, how's Britbox doing? Um, it's doing good in the US. How's it doing over here? Um, well, there's a slight problem with it, yeah. It seems that people aren't willing to pay for, you know, streaming BBC and ITV content when they can already get it for, for nothing on BBC iPlayer and ITV Player. When they're already paying a TV license for us. I know people just don't like that. Yeah. I mean it might be the fact that we advertise we have Doc 2 on Britbox. Even though we have the new series of Doc 2 on BBC iPlay as well. And in terms of Classic Who. Well we had it on the Horror Channel for a bit. Is it still on there? I don't know. Did Jim refresh? Meh. I don't know. I mean, most people are just going to watch it on their DVDs and their Blu-ray box sets anyway, so we can't really grab them as an enticing endorsement. It's not like Disney Plus where they can just say, we've got The Simpsons. Wait a minute. We should cause an issue with it. No, 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 no. Okay, we should do what Disney Plus does. I mean, we seem to be following their philosophy in terms of physical releases. Let's follow their philosophy in terms of digital no, 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 okay. Do you remember what Disney Plus did with the classic episodes of The Simpsons that went 4x3 and then they cropped them to 16x9 and people got annoyed at that? And they said, don't worry, we'll fix it, but to this day, they still haven't. Even though it should be the simplest fix in the world, yeah. Let's do that with classic Doctor Who. We'll crop it to 16x9. And then... We'll wait to see what the result is. If people get annoyed, we'll know it's a success. And then we'll see, you know, we'll we'll be fixing it in, in due course. Will we actually fix it? Uh, maybe, I don't know, I can't be asked. Uh, maybe it's um, Sarah Linda's or... Is it Jasper's turn to deal with complaints? Just give the generic, oh, uh, we'll, fi we'll fix it at some point. Yeah, yeah, we'll fix it at some point kind of thing. We're working, we're working to resolve the situation as quickly as possible. That's it. That's the one to do. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, don't worry, don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We've got our pockets in everything at the minute. What, are we not worried that the new series is currently plummeting in ratings from series 11 onwards? No, of course we're not worried. Why would we be? People are paying their license fees anyway. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Because ratings don't matter. What? What's Bojo doing? He wants to get rid of the TV license. Well, thank fuck this pandemic is distracting him from it. Okay. We'll have to think of a good strategy. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we need we need some extra cash quick. Just in case, just in case, give us a nice soft cushion. I know, I know. We'll give a special edition of Power the Daleks. Yeah, uh, yeah. What do you mean already? Yeah, we'll do a special edition. Um, we'll get Sun and Moon to redo some of the animation. Yes, we'll get them to redo some of it. Yes, I know they can't be asked doing Patrick Trong's trousers checkered. Yeah, I know the plaid. They don't like plaid trousers. Yeah. I know because it's it takes, you know, effort. And I know they don't like effort like we don't like effort either. Which is why we're the perfect pairing. It's not like big finish. Big finish creative there. <laughs> They're delaying stuff. Yeah, I know. They're actually taking proper time and care with it. I mean, God knows how they're still able to stay afloat. I guess with them, they just tap into every market, but at least they have quality control or something. I don't know. I don't know. We couldn't get them to do it anyway. Their resources are stretched thinly as it is. I hear they're releasing a spin-off about the carpet in the Rani's TARDIS. Yeah, I know. What will I think of next? So, okay. Where will we release it? Um, hmm. Well, the UK is always paid the most, so we'll release it over here first. Yeah. Why delay the releases in other regions? Easy. Easy. You see, a lot of Americans and Australians import their versions from Zavi and other sites like Amazon. The beauty is, we still get the money. Which means, we get at that. But then later on, when we release it in those territories, we get all that money all over again. What are we putting the money into? Um, don't know. Hmm. I mean, my chair could do with a bit more padding, actually. Yeah. I mean, we've got some new shows and that happening. Most of them being filmed from people's garages. Okay. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. Don't worry, we'll, we'll sort it all out. Yeah. And then... Um, FYI... The number one thing we're planning to do... Is that we're going 